how to create and edit agents in Arctos. So from the main search page, I'll navigate to manage data agents and I'll land here. And from here, I could go ahead and create a new agent, either person or institution, uh, by clicking this button and filling in the associated fields. However, I'm not sure if the person that I'd like to create already has an existing profile in Arctos. So rather than just plowing ahead, I am going to always do a, a query for, the, for any new agents I'd like to create. So I can use sort of any of these fields. I usually just use this generic field and enter last name only. And that way I can kind of capture any uh, iteration uh, of the person, whether it's just initials or a mixture of uh, first name, middle initial, things like that. And so in my results, I see there is a DC Worcester, and I'm hoping to create a profile for Dean Conant Worcester. So I'm going to look a little bit further into this. So I'll click on his name, and that's going to bring up his agent profile. And just scrolling through, I'm not really learning much. So I don't see a first name filled in or middle name. I don't see any sort of uh, birth or death dates. So nothing too helpful. However, I can click on this agent activity report um, to see what all uh, DC Worcester is associated with. So this activity page will summarize um, collecting activity, determinations, um, transactions that an agent's involved with, and it also shows um, what other institutions are currently using this name with their records. So I see DC Worcester is associated with DMNS records as well as MVZ. Um, and so I'd like to look at these just to see, um, you know, where and when DC Worcester was active. Um, and in order to see another institution's records, as you probably know, you'll have to log out since I'm at a different institution. So I'm just going to open the DMNS records in a separate tab. And I can see here uh, that DC Worcester was active in the late 1890s uh, and was in Ann Arbor. So this actually aligns with my Dean Conant Worcester. He was a student at U of M and eventually a faculty member. So that looks good. And then let's just open the MVZ record. And this one's actually in the Philippines, 1910, which actually still makes sense because Dean's, Dean Worcester was the Secretary of the Interior in the Philippines and also did field work there while a student at U of M. And let's just click on the media for fun. Um, and I see there's an egg slip I can look at. And boom, there's Dean C. Worcester is the actual collector. So um, that verifies my suspicions, and um, at least for the MVZ record. And I've, I feel pretty confident about the, U of, uh, about the DMNS info. Uh, what I recommend is actually contacting the curator or collection manager to um, make sure that they're fine with you go ahead, um, going ahead and editing the agent profile to reflect um, the, the fuller information um, before you sort of overwrite anything that belongs to a different institution. So let me go back to my agent tab and I was logged out, so I'm going to log back in so I can Sign in here, and let's just see if I can navigate back. Yes, okay. So now I can go ahead and edit this page. So I've actually copied and pasted some information I'd like to add. I found on Wikipedia about this guy. So again, he was at U of M, um, and actually the curator at the museum there, uh, and then his expedition to the Philippines and all the information and dates of, of when he was active there. So I'll, I'll put that just in the generic remarks, <clears throat> and then I can fill in his first name, his middle name. I could also, if he had sort of alternate spellings or, um, you know, for someone whose maiden name is diff different than their current last name, I could add that job title. We'll go ahead and do that, curator MC. And importantly, I'm going to add uh, birth and death dates for him. So 1866, October 1, 
O2. And this is extremely helpful, uh, not only for yourself, but for other institutions. So now someone else who might have a DC Worcester or even DCW uh, AUDA specimen tag might be able to look at the information provided here, especially dates, and, and see if that sort of corresponds to the specimen in hand. Um, you know, if you have a specimen that uh, maybe you know the collector name and the locality, but you don't have an exact collect date, you can at least sort of narrow that window by their birth and death dates and, and sort of limit it to a, a certain span of years. Um, so that's very helpful to, to do, to fill in if you have that information. Okay, so lastly, I can navigate down to relationships. And you can see here in the menu, there are multiple options. I don't know much about the familiar relationships, but again, I know employee of. So here again, I could put University of Michigan and push tab. And you can see I have a couple options. I'll just choose the parent institution here. And I'm, I'm not going to add anything further, but I would just like to point out this bad duplicate of. So let's say in my original query to see if Dean Worcester was in the, um, in the agent profile list, um, I saw just multiple, you know, redundant agents, and I wanted to merge all those profiles together. That's when I could actually select bad duplicate of and type in, you know, DWC, DC, Conant, et cetera. Um, and those would essentially run on a schedule, uh, a merge schedule, and all those profiles would, would come into one unified profile, and any institutions that happen to be using any of those bad duplicate names uh, would be notified of the change, so as an added sort of QC step. Um, lastly, if uh, Dean Worcester was alive, I might enter some of his contact information, including shipping address, and, and that's uh, a nice field that's actually tied to loans. So when I print an, a loan invoice, it would actually pull that address directly into it. So I can save all my changes, and there they all are. Last thing I just want to point out, so any sort of relationships get linked. So I can click on this, and it will bring me to the University of Michigan page. And if I navigate down, you can see we've got multiple employees listed here. So there's a recipro reciprocal link created when you create any sort of relationship, whether that's you know, related family members, um, 